welcome to this tutorial on online maps. We're going to primarily be working on Google Maps today, so uh, here's the Google search page. I'll click on Maps, and that brings me in, and this is the default. This is where you start. I can either use this bar here to scroll in and out, or I can type in the name of something. So I'll, I'll zoom in here to the state of Washington, at least get us close to home. And I live in Stanwood, so I'll type in Stanwood, and there it pops up. And there's my hometown. Now, if I don't, if I, I can collapse this, or I can bring it back out. Uh, we ask you to provide links in a couple different places. So if I wanted to provide a link of this view here, I'd click on the link. I'd probably shorten that, and I can either right-click, copy, or Control C. Then I paste it, and then assignment here. This is something else, but a good example. So I right-click and paste here, or I could simply go Control V, and it pastes in. Uh, another option we have, actually there are a lot of features offered here, directions. Okay, so let's say I want to go from Stanwood to uh, Seattle. I'll type in Seattle, and I know you're thinking, well, that's backwards. You can simply switch these around. You can put additional places in the middle, and the, look at that, the uh, directions pop right up. And so I'm going to go ahead and highlight all these, and right-click Copy. And then we ask for directions in one spot here on this assignment, and I'll just simply paste those in as well. <coughs> this also shows, excuse me, this shows um, a distance, so you can see the 53.3 miles uh, and, and the time, usually with the normal traffic, 59 minutes. So, other features offered here are things like the traffic. So, I want to look at traffic, and uh, today it's a Sunday afternoon, so traffic isn't real heavy. And you see a lot of green on a weekday during rush hour, especially in Seattle. You see a lot of red, like there's something going on here, I guess, on uh, Sequalmie, uh, Preston area there. And you can see there's a there's a stoppage in the uh, westbound lanes. So you see a lot more red and yellows during rush hour. Uh, tra there's a transit link. There's a weather link, which is kind of cool. So weather for the whole area, wherever you are in the world, uh, the whole region there will give you different uh, uh, weather reports from local areas. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to get rid of that label and that label, clean things up a little bit, and the driving directions. Uh, terrain is kind of a cool layer to use. They call these things layers. And uh, you can see that the, the mountains and hills, the relief or uh, the elevations show up a little bit. So it's kind of fun to look at that. Uh, we'll ask you to zoom in uh, to your school and your uh, home and check stuff out and, and simply comment on it on this uh, on this online website that we have. Another feature that I want to show you is Street View. So once again I'll get rid of this terrain layer uh, and bring it back to a normal layer. Actually we didn't look at Satellite View yet either which is a great layer and a very popular one. Uh, so you can see here that you can zoom right in and see things. Of course it isn't real time but they update these quite often and it's pretty uh, interesting to see things from from above. So back to my map and I'll use this little uh, street view icon. So this guy here, I'll take him, pull it out. Anything in blue uh, has data, so the images have been laid down. So I'll drop it right here near Boeing, Boeing Field in Everett. And uh, we'll just wait a second while that loads up. Uh, and, and there you go. So you can turn this image, and you can actually paste this link to it, and it will be whatever image you're you're uh, using at the current time. So this would be a picture exactly like this uh, if I sent a link out on that. Um, to get back to my page, I can either search for Stanwood, I can back out of it to bring me back all the way to the start page or this back to Stanwood. So uh, there I am. There are a couple other websites that we'll ask you to look at. This one here is Bing. Very similar. I click on Maps. Uh, they call things, uh, uh, the names are a little bit different, like their uh, satellite is called Aerial. Uh, and their street view is street side, uh, but very, very similar. And MapQuest is very similar as well. We'll pull that up here. And the main thing with this assignment is have a good time with it. Enjoy yourself and, and uh, you know, just click around and, and, uh, and check things out from different angles. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for, for viewing this presentation and, and have fun. Thank you.